I have my friend hopefully that you are doing great. So in this lecture, I want to share you about flu and weight. And then we can apply in many contexts where we need to wait for a certain, uh, yeah, certain um, you know, uh, condition. So for example, you can wait uh, till an element display, wait uh, till an element disappear, or some specific thing like uh, in the situation that we faced in the previous lesson. So here you can see on the line 26 here, uh, what I do that I do thrust slip just for demonstration purpose. And I told you that do not do it in your real test grip. And so if you, you, you can't do it in the test grip. So, uh, what's it, the replacement in this case? So, Probably you can still remember something I told you related to uh, implicit weight uh, when we created uh, an Appium utility class. Uh, where is it here? You see the implicit uh, weight is something like, you know, globally weight that you can apply globally for any element on the page. But there will be something related to some special condition where you cannot do uh, implicit weight. So in our case that I want to wait that till uh, we have uh, two elements match it, this uh, HPS value display on the screen uh, before doing anything else. So for example, if I just match it one element and if I try to declare some index zero and one here, that means I am expecting the list view have uh, at least two elements. So in case uh, it just return only one because um, another one is not visible yet. So we will face some issue related to our part in the list here. So let me try to add something related to flow and weight, okay? So we have a web driver weight class here and let me try to create a new instance with the name weight here equal new um, web driver weight. So this constructor will receive two uh, parameters. Uh, the first parameter will be the driver. So in this case, it should be the Appium driver and the second one is the maximum certain of amount um, that we need to wait. So in this case, I will put 30 else because it will accept a long um, parameter type. So what does that mean? That means that uh, the maximum amount to check for the upcoming uh, condition that is 30 seconds, but it doesn't mean that it will wait uh, 30 seconds uh, always. So in the case, uh, we have something that matches the condition uh, sooner than that, it will uh, return the um, to to two, and that means we don't need to wait anymore. Okay. So now, what I want to do that I put something like wait until. So you, if you click on the until method here, you can see it will refer you to the flow and wait class here. So this one will uh, have we need to use another functional interface related to here. But um, for example, you don't know about what is the functional interface, that's why as well. So what we need to put inside that I will call the expected condition here. And by the way, sorry for any background noise around, okay? So you see the expected condition here with the S at the end here, you see it come from support.ui here. You select this one and then you dot. You see there's a lot of convenience methods inside and then you can try to explore around. But in this case, I want to yield the number of element, uh, number of element, uh, not this one to be less than number of element. Uh, let me try to put something number of elements to be here, you see. So this one will accept by locator value and the integer. So this, uh, this method will help me for example, I provide for uh, for each some selector value, and it will try to check whether we have uh, enough element display on the screen based on the value here. Okay, so in this case, for example, I will copy this one a little duplicate code here, but uh, just for demonstration purpose. So in the real test script, 
uh, especially in the Bay of Jets election, I will share you how to handle something like this. Okay, don't worry. So in this case, I expect it to be, uh, let me see, this is the, oh, sorry. Uh, this should be the by parameter, so we can keep two here. Uh, and in this case, let me try to cut this one. We will give more for pi, okay? For, for pi dot expect here, because we are going to give expect, and this is the value. So I expect that uh, the number of elements to be uh, two, if I give this uh, locator strategy, and the maximum uh, amount that I want to wait that 30 seconds. But if this condition makes it before, uh, this certain uh, amount of time, it will uh, return to true, and then we can continue the rest of the step, okay? So now, uh, let me try to print out. Uh, actually, I don't think we need to print out, just keep all the things here, because it is return not enough to two, and we call some index here, zero and one, that means we are expecting two elements or from the list. This will return for us an um, error relate, related to something, uh, our, our power uh, index, something like that. Okay, so just rerun this test script and then you can see whether it's work or not, okay? So before you run it to, you know, start the app, your server first, okay? And, okay, let me try to open the visor app. And then you can see what's going on the, on the device. So for this script, if we don't see any error in uh, throw uh, in the control lock here, so that means everything is correct. So you see at the end, we finish with the exit code zero here. So that means everything is okay. So let me try to summarize uh, a little before we end this lesson. So we use web driver weight last year, and then we specify two uh, parameters. The first parameter is the FPM driver, and the second one is the time, the maximum time that you want to check this condition, okay? So we have many uh, expected condition convenience methods here, and then you can try to explore around. But in this case, I want to use number of element to P2 if I apply uh, this strategy. So in this case, the strategy is uh, expect with this value, and we need to use mobile byte, okay? It's before we are running the test on mobile, not web element. Uh, so for the web, uh, we can put something like byte, uh, something like this. But we are uh, running the test on mobile, so please use mobile uh, byte, okay? Uh, and then everything's the rest step here, I think, is a very easy for you to remember because we already did this in previous selection. Okay, so try to explore around with flu and weight. Uh, bye for now and see you in the next lesson.